Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and uh, welcome back to uh, Battle Beyond Friends. Well, now is a good time to uh, change our formation. Yeah, let's uh, let's put Biron in the middle and uh, put Glenn up front here. Put Viran on the side, actually, so we can see him better. Yeah, let's just leave uh, Glenn alone in the front there. That that sounds like a good idea. Hopefully, you will see why. Let's just uh, walk right into town. What could possibly happen? Hi, Maria. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, Glenn's still scared. Scared. <laughs> I like her calm little... Hello, Glenn. <laughs> yeah, it has. <laughs> At least she's honest. She seemed to acknowledge Biron there for some reason. We'll find out more about Maria later. But right now, we have to grant her desire and kill her. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure that'll be super easy. Clearly she won't be able to drop giant meteors on us. Maria's weak to ice. Um but, um, yeah. Originally the... Oh, crap. Yeah, she's fast. Strice. Um... Ow! Damn. Kira ain't gonna cut it from that. Go ahead and great HP vial after that one. Holy crap. Right off the bat, picking on Ocelia. Let's give our new move, uh, Cursed Slice, a try. 62 HP. How much damage? 700. Well, 684, but yeah. Yeah, it's powerful. A lot of HP, though. Oh, she guarded. Let's take advantage and get a heal spell off. Not items. Might as well cast ice with her. And go ahead and land a cursed slice. Maria also has a lot of HP. Ah, she blocked it. She would block it. She's definitely pretty damn hard. She blocked it. She guarded again. Maria, come on. Don't toy with me. Let's actually see what you can do. She doesn't have very much in her arsenal, but um, what she has is pretty damn devastating. Blocked it again. Oh, let's uh, drag the fight out here. Strice again. Uh, well, Strice is powerful, but... It's not what I'm worried about. No, let's go with ice. Pretty good damage for ice there.
heal up from Strice. And keep up with Curse of Slice. Ah, she, she dodged that one. That's no good. Dodge that one too. Another Strice. Oh, we dodged it. Alright. Ice. Come on, Maria. Show everyone why you're extremely difficult. Well, maybe not extremely difficult, but difficult. Just stick with Storm Slash. I don't want to use that much HP. Not restore speed. True combo. There we go. Dodge it again. Well, she guarded again. I don't know why. She's not even really trying against me. Um, I may have to refight her just to show you what she can do. That that would actually kind of irritate me. Here we go. Here's Bold. Ow. Yeah, Bold is like getting hit by Locke's Ice Spell. Not nice. Got to use two heals after that. Well, I suppose I don't have to, but I should. And there's one other thing that she can do. Um, hopefully she'll do it. She can be more difficult than Locke. Sometimes she's not more difficult than Locke. It really depends on what she does. Strice, not so bad. Well, well, well I suppose uh, you know, taking that kind of damage is pretty bad, but... Nothing I can't handle. Um... Sometimes she's really nasty and spams bold and then her other move that is really, really powerful. Hopefully she'll show it off. Wow, that actually did not heal you nearly as much as I thought it would. Um, crap. Jump slash? I missed anyway. Yeah, I guess recovery blade Glenn. Don't have much choice. Another strike. Ooh, almost killed Acelia there in one shot. Holy cow. No status ailments in this fight, but... Yeah, she's hard. <laughs> Come on, Maria. Do what you're famous for. Have a little cursed slice. Now oh, she's in lean mode. Um, yeah, let's drag it out a little bit. I don't want to finish her off right now. She can continue to wreck my party <laughs> in various cruel ways. No, don't do that.
And I'll just waste Glenn's turn. I don't want him to guard because, well, hopefully you'll see. There it is. Ow! And that was to Glenn. Can you imagine if that was to any other character? What that would have done? It would have been 500 plus. Glenn has almost 200 defense and he took... It almost killed him. Another thing about Maria... She's got about a 50% critical hit rate. Yeah, she's got critical up. So yeah, she can critical do over a thousand damage. Or close to it. And I've seen her hit Glenn for like 700. Pretty nasty stuff. Usually that kills you, but um... I put only Glenn in the front because I know he can survive it at full HP. Barely. But he can do it. All right, let's finish Maria off now. That's everything she can do. Ah, I just wasted your turn again, Glenn. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. No, true combo. Yeah, sometimes she's a real pain in the ass, and she'll spam her normal attack. Other times, she'll drop a meteor on you. Ow. It's a particularly nasty fight. Got her. Yeah, nothing simple about fighting Maria. Huh? Doesn't have much to her, but what she's got is pretty powerful. Well, we beat her, though, so... I guess Glenn's fear... Oh. I guess we didn't beat her. Yeah, it's one of those win in battle, but you still lose in the cutscene. So they know each other. Well, that'll be explained later. It's just... Uh, the line was added later on to uh, signify foreshadowing. Why Verdoc? Oh, yeah. Sargo and Nancy are there. What, you didn't think we were going to just fight Maria and Locke, did you? Of course, we gotta fight uh, Sargo and Nancy too. Okay, if you haven't figured out who he is yet, yeah, I feel sorry for you. No, no, no. It it's, should be fairly obvious at this point. Holy crap, that's a lot of experience. Yay, Kirtu! Boo, no water spell. Oh well, there is one more enemy weak to water, but Lilila will not have the water spell in time. Maybe I should fix that and give her water at level 28 or something, but I suppose it doesn't particularly matter. Well, let's check our items here. I think everything is okay. Well, I suppose I should pick up another great HP vial for um, Lalila. Yeah, I'm going to go do that. So let's, let's do that. Not looking for that. Oh, anti-death vials. Um, they actually might be somewhat useful, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, the upcoming ball. Uh, a couple of coming bosses can um, inflict death on me, but only do a single target, so, you know, I have life vials for that. Why bother making myself immune? If it could do it to my entire party, okay, then I might care. Not him.
HP vial. And Vertex under attack, but you know what? You know what the best thing to do is when one of the main character's hometown is under attack? Well, it's really quite simple. The best thing to do is to spend the night at an inn. Yes, absolutely. Hey. Yeah, it must be that event in the way. Ah, well, I can still trigger the event. I mean, the invisible event from earlier. Okay. Back to Verdock. It's going to be quite the walk. From here all the way over there. Back to the first town in the game. No quick travel, unfortunately. So, yeah. Gotta walk everywhere. Later on, there will be uh, some sort of teleport system, but... Hasn't been uh, put into place yet, so... I mean, we don't have access to it yet. Just run away from these guys. Oh, come on! You know, I'll just run away from these guys off screen. I'll be right back. Well, that was annoying. Yeah, there's Lynn. We gotta go past Lynn and, uh... Get back to town. Oh, right. Uh, my formation. I want to reset that. Come on, game. Let me run away, please. Thank you. I have no idea how the run system works. I think it's just a set percentage. There we go. Walk through the two-dimensional trees. Absolutely. Makes sense to me. b -Rod Doesn't alter his course for nothing. Not even a tree. That didn't kill him, really. There we go. That got him. Here we are outside Verdock, and I'm going to call an end to this part. Thanks for watching.